haven't a clue how to start this video off and I'm never caught for words. So let's just jump in then. Oh, hi everybody and welcome back. Yes, you, I am never kind of stuck for words or speechless, see, speechless or anything like that. But I actually was thinking before this video, how the hell am I gonna start this video? And I had no clue. So I said, Viv, just sit down, tell the ladies and gents your story. Tell my friends and family the story and that's all you can do. So yes, I got something very, very special. And in this video, I am going to unbox, obviously. And for those of you who just wanna see the bag, I'm gonna unbox first. And for those of you who wanna hear the whole crazy story, stick around because it is a good one. I promise you. I don't I, I just don't know where to start. All right, let's start with the fragrance of today. And the fragrance of today is, of course, it is Hermes and it is Le Ombre de Mervais, this beauty here. And I'm going to leave the, um, the notes up here somewhere on screen because I can't be going into all that now, can I? No, I haven't a clue what I'm at. Um, I also want to give a shout out today to Cara Kay. Hi Cara Kay, how are you? And yes, today, ladies and gents, I have an unboxing of the most amazing, biggest surprise that I've gotten in a very, very long time, I have to say. I wasn't expecting this, but as you know, a lot of people say that, so I know what it sounds like. And uh, I know I sold a few bags. I'm gonna to touch on that as well. So stick around for that. It's not what you think. Okay, well, we just get into the unboxing. We just get into the good part because I actually couldn't wait to do this video. I picked this beauty up yesterday and she is, uh, look, as you can tell, I haven't unboxed her since. I've obviously seen her. I'm gonna put her there because obviously the camera is focusing on my face. I've obviously seen her because I had to go in and collect her or pick her up as they say but collect her and obviously it was revealed to me inside in Hermes in Dublin in Bern Thomas and yesterday was Wednesday the 22nd of February today filming this is Thursday the 23rd of February and I couldn't wait 2022 to open up this beauty and then I will tell you all the gory details so stick around for that so oh my god yes I was inside and I was like I want to open her I want to open her look how tight and beautifully this is and I said no I can't do that because I'd never be able to uh, tie her up I think that's upside down Viv turn her around that's not going to be good <laughs> start off wrong altogether there she is hopefully hopefully facing the right way and there's the beautiful ribbon and to say that I didn't think I'd ever be holding this bag can you guess what it is by the way actually yeah Guess down below, I'm sure a lot of you know already or can guess a lot of you that know me really well, but like I don't really talk about these bags a lot, so maybe you don't know. I didn't really know myself, but anyway. What I will say is this bag, we know it's a bag, is just stunning. She's a color I adore, uh, but I have a lot of colors, in, well, couple of particular I'm all tongue-tied I'm so sorry about this I'm all tongue-tied but I'm not gonna edit much in this video or whatever because I want it to be for real honest to God and I just don't want it to be too edited because I hate it being forced or false I just want it to be sincere and genuine and that's what it is it's a huge huge deal to me and uh, I don't like mate, this could be my one and only ever I'm not even sure but like look at the preciousness of this like it came out actually I just want to see if that's still on it and my name was on the box I could see my name I didn't do much filming I did a little bit in there actually I brought Katie with me dragged her in I vlogged a little bit by the way so I put a little bit of that into the video and I asked her to film a little inside but she was a little bit kind of mom I don't really want to do that and to be honest I could totally get it I wasn't sure whether we were allowed whether we were supposed to so we got what we could get and we didn't get anything else so now I'm looking no my name is not a put my name was on the box uh, there was cellophane over it so it was a fresh fresh piece uh, nobody had touched it nobody had seen it it was specially ordered for me so wait for the rest of that story so here she is oh my god can you guess and I've like do you know how many videos I've watched saying here you know there's her pillow there's her pillow <laughs> brilliant 
And this is the first time and there's, I'm not even sure what's in here. The booklet, I presume, I haven't obviously opened up this. The raincoat that everybody talks about. There's the raincoat, rain protection. Uh, yeah, I, I'll probably wear that more than the bag will. But anyway, that's inside because the, the bag will be going under my jumper or top or cardigan or whatever it is. So that's all the stuff inside the pillow. I've actually turned down the lights today. I hope you, because I want you to get a better view of her in real life. I'm also going to put in some B-roll of daylight shots because I want you to get the actual close up and personal of what I'm seeing with this bag. I want you to experience it all with me because you've been along with me on this journey now for coming up on, well, it's a year and a half and I'm so, so grateful to you all. So that's inside, I can't believe, there she is with the pillow. Sorry, I'm just savoring the moment, so please just don't mind me. I really am just savoring the moment. I'm putting down the box very carefully because I just want to mind everything. I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> I actually can't believe I'm doing this. Here she is in her beautiful dust bag and it is such gorgeous quality as everybody has said previously very thick and you know just you would just know it is quality absolutely and inside to reveal my ladies my gents my friends and everybody else what did i get you might be surprised or you might know me better than i know myself is oh my god Look at her, look at her, look at her. Oh my God, it is the Birkin 25 in Togo leather in the Palladium hardware. And I just absolutely, in the gold color. Sorry, I forgot to say that. <laughs> I'm probably gonna forget to say a few things. I've actually written a couple of pointers down just in case, so I want to actually include everything. I'm going to give her a little spin for you there. And she has, as everybody says, the contrast stitching, which is oh, so, so, so beautiful. And do you know what I loved about this bag when she took her out? You know the way the Togo can have all the veining? Look at this bag. There is zero veining on this bag. She is just perfect. I can't believe I got this bag. I can't believe I got her in the size, in the spec, in everything. Now, the only thing, the color was my first choice. The size was my first choice. The Togo leather was my first choice. And obviously you know me well enough and most of my bags are in gold. So yes, I said if I could get her in gold, that would be amazing. But do you think I care? No, I don't care. Why would I care? I wear, I have my diamond tennis bracelet and I have my Rolex is in the palladium as well. So I don't care about that. Would you, would you care? I don't know. I certainly do not care. Um, I'm just can't wait to take this off. Oh my God, would you just look at her? Oh, look at her, look at her, look at her. She's just gorgeous. And I can't believe I've got her so quickly. So let's get into the story, Viv, right? So I just wanted to take off the little stickers with you guys up close and personal, because apparently if you don't take these stickers off, the metal can oxidize and we don't want that. Hee hoo, she's officially mine. It's so satisfying. And we'll take this one off. And it's oh so nice and shiny. Fabulous. And we'll take this one off. Some people are afraid to take this off because it, um, they don't want to get scratched, but this is mine. She isn't going to go anywhere and she is mine forever and ever. The whole piece didn't come off there. Hold on. There we go. And I'll do one last piece and then I'll remove the rest off camera and we'll remove this piece here. Katie is filming for me. Thank you, Katie. And just want to show you underneath here. And I love the Palladium actually. As you know, I'm usually a gold hardware person, but this is just so shiny. It's really like... It's like a little mirror. Don't mind me now, as I said, this is my first time also, and I am just taking her off with you guys here. I have watched so many videos on this, taking off the little sangles, and inside she has her little stamp and everything. I don't know what, what stamp she is, but there she is, look at her. 
look at the color. I hope she's coming up really well now in the color because I have turned down the lights a lot today for you to get the right color on the bag. This is my favorite color in a handbag. Can you believe that? My favorite, favorite color. Well, I think you already know. So she's got the stuffing inside here. And as I said, I am going to put in B-roll, so I'll hope you get to see that too. I'm going to take off her little cover here because she is mine and she is staying forever and ever and ever. And I never thought I would be this way about a Birkin 25. I really didn't, but I suppose I think I'm in shock that I actually got the Birkin 25 because you know, as, as time went on, I was like, oh, you know, maybe I, I'd go to 30. I like the 30 as well. I'm tall, I'm, I'm 175 in centimeters. So that was not gonna bother me. And uh, for sure, the palladium was not gonna bother me either. And I am going to take those off. But you know what? I think I'll take those off close up so you can see me taking those off because I don't want it to be too long or too messy or anything like that. So that's herself. That is the inside, which I'm sure you all know at this stage, the front pocket is here. And then she has one big compartment and inside is a little clochette and her little lock. I'll open that in a second. And then on the back of it there is the little zip compartment also. Oh my God. And to feel this leather, and I know I've heard so many people, I can't believe she's mine. I actually, <laughs> I can't believe she's mine. The way it happened, right, wait till you hear the way it happened, but hold on now, before I do that, I wanna just open up the little clochette in here and, oh for God's sake, look, I'm nearly doing it to myself and forgetting to show you guys. I'm running away with myself, I'm losing myself here. And I will just put her on here just for the moment. So we might as well dress her up properly. And actually, I'll tell you what else I got. Hold on there now a second. Oh my God, I don't know if I have that on right at all, do I? I'll fix it in a second. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, ju I'm just too excited. <laughs> I'm just too excited. So inside is, you know, you can obviously close her over. I think I will be wearing her like this, but this for me, because I'm such a casual dresser, with jeans, with creams, with blues, all that kind of stuff. Um, I, I did worry a little bit, was the handle going to be um, too small or whatever, but I have the Antigona Mini and the handle on that is small and I love, love, love that bag. So I just thought the 30 then might be just a little bit too big. And then, put her side here, I'm going to have such a good evening now that I've unboxed her, I can play with her properly. So I decided to treat her because she's gonna be mine forever, hopefully. And you know, she's gonna be the queen of the crop and not to say I don't love all my other bags as well, of course I do. And I just decided to get this little beauty for her as well, because I had in my mind, if I ever got one of these bags, what color I would love, because I love this color with the color gold. So to open up this little twilly, and I've never got an Hermes twilly before, I got this stunning blue color, which I think is just so gorgeous, the contrast. And I just got the one, I didn't bother getting two. I think the, the name of this one is called Two Faces. And if you can see, it's that beautiful blue and it says Hermes Paris on it. And it has all the little figurines and people on it. And I just think it is the most magnificent color. I don't know if I'll put it on the back or on the front, but I'll just give you a little look for the moment of the color with the gold, I just think. It is so, so beautiful. I'm not gonna do it now because I'll just make a big mess of it. So what I might do is do it in a while and then come back and show you. Katie was with me. She came along yesterday. So to get back to the story while I just twiddle this around and see what, just give a little glimpse of what she may look like. Look at that. Like I know that looks ridiculous because it has to be much, much shorter. Okay, and you don't want to be covering up the beauty of the actual, you know, sometimes I think I'll just wear her by herself because she's beautiful enough, but just to protect the handle as well from dirt and grime and more so cream on your hands and things like that, I think that is going to look stunning. Zumoni actually have offered to make me a, an organizer for her. I know a lot of people have the seven RPs. I haven't ordered or got that yet. Zumoni is going to make me a lovely little organizer for the bag and maybe one day I'll get the seven RP, we'll see. But to be honest, it doesn't matter to me at the moment. Oh my God. She's just a little beaut. She really, really so dinky, so light. I love the Palladium hardware. Do you know why I don't care? Because God, if I ever got another one, I can get it in gold if I want, or not even that. With this, I think it is just, the Palladium hardware is almost like, it's like a little mirror. It's so, the silver is so shiny on it. It's really gorgeous. The smell. Oh, 
oh, between the smell of the uh, perfume and the smell of the leather is just gorgeous. And as I said, the contrasting stitching and the soft leather. And I can't believe there's zero veining on this bag. She is just, I just adore her. I adore her, I adore her. The story behind the bag. Okay, so now we are in February, 2022. In uh, June, 2021, I was here and I'd obviously been watching lots of Hermes videos and I'm always planning for the future and I'm always thinking ahead and I'm always kind of thinking what next and I love achievements, I love setting goals and this bag for me, to, to actually touch on it, doesn't represent as much status to me because I know some people use this bag as a status symbol and it very much is, let's be honest. You know, expensive jewellery, expensive cars, expensive houses, expensive bags, they're all status symbols, in my view, right? But the reason I really wanted this bag, and not like everybody else who's wanted it for years, to be very honest, I haven't wanted this bag for years. I haven't. I've only got into it in the last, since 2020 when I started my YouTube channel and I'm listening to everybody else and you get influenced and you start looking and oh my God, and you start seeing the quality and you start learning like everybody else. And I started going, oh my God, do you know, to be very honest with you, I suppose I thought it was out of reach for me. I didn't think it was achievable. I didn't think it was ever gonna be you know, doable for me on my own and, and whatever. So I just thought, yeah, it just wasn't in sight for me. And then the more YouTube videos I watched and all that, I, I, you know, it, it's just started coming more into my mind and into my view. And I suppose we're manifesting things. And I'm actually really starting to believe in all of that kind of stuff, to be very, very honest with you. So what happened was this time last year, actually I got it eight months eight months after I put the order in. So I went into town last year and in June, and you know who can vouch for me on this one? Isabel Style. Hi Isabel, if you're watching. Myself and Isabel were chatting at that time. We were doing, if you remember, the video where um, she was, she was, we were curating handbags and she was helping me to curate mine and lots of other people to curate curate their handbags and I had just mentioned that I had been in I think she had just gotten her bag and I said look do you know what I popped into Brent Thomas in Dublin I made a wish list it'll probably never come through because I had watched all the videos about purchase history I'll get onto that in a minute about everything everything that you and I have watched everybody's watched the same kind of videos or and I'd watched everything I thought yeah look I'm not gonna get it and I am a bit of a chancer now I will put that out there and I do like to take risks and I will I don't mind saying that because I think that's important and I'm not afraid of a lot of things I'm one of those kind of just just do it and see what happens just what's the worst that can happen so I said, okay, I rang up Hermes thinking, who do I think I am? Hadn't a been as far as if, if I had went in there on that day and they had said to me, yes, Viv, we have a lovely black Birkin for you in a size 30 with gold hardware. Would you like to take it today? I would have been there going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how am I going to pay for it? Uh, will I rob it? Uh, <laughs> literally, right? So I was thinking, who do I think I am? So I just went, yeah, okay, I'm going to ring them. I'm going to see what this process is all about and see what everyone's talking about. And I agree with everybody that, you know, Hermes can be, even though I've been in and out, I've done fashion shows in Brent Thomas over the years, I've worked in there, I've worked all around Dublin doing fashion and all this kind of stuff, but I wouldn't know anybody in Hermes. And so I was like, okay, because it can be a little bit kind of, you know, the, it's very serene when you go in there. It can be an intimidating atm atmosphere, but you know, I'm nearly 50 years of age. I'm not going to get intimidated too easily. People are just people at the end of the day. So I made the call. I said, look, hi, my name is Vivian. I would like to come in, make an appointment. I'd like to make a wish list or whatever. And she was like, oh, okay. And she goes, hi, yes, how are you? Look, do you know what? At the moment, because it was kind of during lockdown, it was semi actually. So she says, come in. It wasn't obviously during, it wouldn't have been open. She says, come in um, early during the week. This was a Thursday or Friday in June last year. She says, come in early, either Monday or Tuesday morning. That's the best time to come in. And I said, do I need to ask for somebody? Do I need to make an appointment? She goes, no, just come in early. And she said, uh, you'd be met by somebody and we, we can take it from there. So I was, uh, for me, it was a bit vague. I was like, oh, do I not need to kind of go a bit further than that and, and give me an essay that we're all hearing about and stuff. So it wasn't anything like that. So on the Tuesday morning, which was June the 1st, 2021, and the reason I know that is because I looked up all my details so I could tell you the story properly. I went in on a Tuesday morning. It was about 10, what time was it? I don't know, about half 10 in the morning. Went in 
and I said hi, my name is Vivian. I was met by the uh, say security guard at the door. It was every, it was very much everybody queuing up at the time, and he said okay, hi. He said yes, we need an appointment. I said I have. I said I'm, I, I said I was told just to come in, and he goes oh fine. He goes look, you're fourth in the queue. He said you know go off and we'll give you a text, and you'll be greeted by your host when you come back. So I said okay. So I went off. I went off walking around Brent Thomas. Went into a little jeweler's around the corner called Weirs had a look there, just passing time. And 15 minutes later, I got a text saying, your host is ready to see you now, you can come back. So of course I was literally 30 seconds around the corner. So I came back, went in, I met a lovely, lovely woman. So we started talking about, first of all, I just went in and, and she goes, hi, how are you? And I said, hi, this was somebody else. And she goes, can I help you? I said, yes, my name is Vivian. I'd like to make a wish list. I literally straight out like that. And she goes, oh, right, okay. Um, what in particular? I said, well, um, a Birkin, I think, or, you know, all right, okay. I was just so direct because I didn't want anything else. And we will talk about purchase history in a couple of minutes. So she got somebody else and she goes, this lady will help you out. Called me over into like a little private area. The Dublin concession Hermes is quite small. So there isn't a room upstairs and there isn't kind of, I wasn't given champagne or anything. So it's just very, very little private room that was sectioned off to the left of the store. So we went in there, we were talking, she was from Glasgow and I have been to Glasgow once, so we talked about that, we talked about the weather, we talked about jewellery, and then we got talking about colours and wish lists and handbags and all the rest of it. I was wearing my Chanel 19 that day and she was admiring it actually. So she was very, very nice, very, very normal, very, very calm, very nice experience, very kind of, how are you? There was no kind of, oh God, and she looked at me, or nothing like that, it was just nice chat. And she goes, what would you like? So I put in an order for an order. I said my wish list, what I would love. And I said, look, there's no, there's no rush. There's no rush because I didn't have the money at the time, right? <laughs> I didn't have the cash. I was like, where there's a will, there's a way. I will find a way, I will find a way. So I put in my wish list of Missy Moo in the gold with the togo with gold hardware and I got the palladium and I'm over the moon. I also put in for black with gold hardware and tan with gold hardware. She said no problem, great, lovely, all the rest of it and I was about, I was in there for about 15 minutes, that was it. Left, grand, that was the first. Then on the 4th of June, which was about 3-4 days later, I wanted to go in and get a present for the giveaway the Bastia coin purse that I had bought and I'd already bought one for myself if you remember months and months before that so I said look do you know what I'll buy a Bastia coin purse for uh, one of my give the giveaway prizes so I went and got that didn't meet anybody else just got the purse uh, met one of my subscribers Claire in there hi Claire if you're watching and uh, said hi and left and that was it and then that would have been, that was June. So that was it, no more. Said, oh, you know what, could be two years, could be never. This is some experience. I just wanted to see what the whole palava was about. And that was pretty much it. Then I was thinking, when was it? I was coming up to Christmas, or no, before Christmas, I think September, so that was June. September, I'd heard that like a lot of people, I had watched Purse on Fleek and I'd watch other people, but I had decided I'm not gonna email like a million times because nobody wants that. So I said, I'll send, send one email just to kind of see if they remember who I am. Move on now very quickly uh, to, where are we now? February 2022. And uh, I had emailed them again just to say, hi, uh, my name's Vivian, blah, blah, blah. I had emailed you a while back in 2021 just to say that I'd be very happy with the 13th. So that was it. So there was two drop into the, to the actual store and two emails, that was it roll on to the 17th of February, last Thursday, I got a call from an English number and I was like, and I, I, you know sometimes when you're out of context and I was actually doing the grocery shopping, so it was windy kind of a day, I was jumping out of the car, my phone was ringing, I was running in to get the shopping, your head is in a completely different headspace and my phone's ringing and I was like, who the hell is that? And it was a number I didn't recognize. And you know that we're getting all the prank calls now of like, you know, if you answer yes, then they kind of copy things. So I thought it was that, so I didn't even actually answer it because it was an English number. I was like, look, if it's important enough, they leave a message. So I went in, did my shopping, came out, and they had rang in the meantime, still didn't get that, because obviously I was inside shopping. Got into the car, listened to my messages, as I always would, listened to the message, and I got, hi, Vivian. And, and why I'm mumbling is because that's all I could hear from Hermes, uh, just calling, listen, she didn't leave any. I was like, what is going on here? Listen, she said, uh, sure, look, I'll call back later or tomorrow if, if I can get you then. So that was that. 
So Friday came and that was about five o'clock in the evening. So Friday came and I said, look, I'll call her now later. Even though I was kind of waiting for her to call back. She said she'd call back and I was letting her call back, but I wasn't hearing anything. So I, I called her mez then I called the number on the Friday morning about, I think it was about 12.45 in the morning and missed, got, nobody answered. So at 13.01, and I wrote this down afterwards because I got such a shock, PM on Friday, the 18th of February, I got a call. Hi Vivian, this is a manager in uh, Hermes Bern Thomas, and I just wanted to say I have some good news for you. Now before this, right, I was going, maybe they're ringing because, you know, to update my wish list and just say, look, we'd love you to come in and da, da, da. I really wasn't expecting, right? So I just got, um, and so I've good news for you, and I'm there gone right, and the kids were here, so I was running upstairs for it to be quiet somewhere. Ran upstairs, and I'm like, Okay, and she goes, yes, she says, um, we've just, um, I think we've just received something you might like. We were able to acquire your, um, fulfill actually, she said, your wish list of a Birkin 25 with gold Togo, in the colour gold, Togo leather with palladium hardware. And I went, oh my God, I said, excellent. Now, to be very honest with you, I wanted to jump on screen, but I was trying to play it a little bit cool. I didn't want to be all like, you know, I'm not 21. <laughs> so I was like, oh my God, excellent. I'm delighted for her. She's like, are you happy with the, I said, absolutely. And she said, well, she, I, she, I said, what do I do next or what? I said, I said, I didn't really expect it this soon. She goes, well, she says, I'm delighted to have some good news for you on this Friday. If you'd like to come in and collect it. I said, well, to be very honest with you, now I'm going to be very honest with you. I didn't have, the cash right there and then on the Friday. So I'm there going, trying to delay a few things, right? And I was there going, okay, I have to get that money together. 100% honest, right? So I says to her, uh, yeah, okay. So I won't be able to come in um, today or tomorrow being Saturday. I said, she goes, well, look, you have five days. As she says, you have five days to pick it up. So, you know, you can leave it till whatever day within the five days. I said, brilliant, I'll be in Wednesday morning. Now, getting to the point where I did a vlog sale, that went out on the 20th of February, right? It didn't go out till the Sunday. This was the 18th that I sold my Neo Noi, my Louis Vuitton and my Speedy. Talk about things lining up, gods or whatever's minding you. And one of my subbies, My Life Journey, hi B, how are you? Had actually texted me and go, right Viv, there's a Kelly or Birkin coming out because you're doing your vlog sale. Now this is the truth and I will be very honest with you. I recorded that vlog sale on the 9th of February. Got the call for this the 17th of February. The proper call then because I missed that one on the 18th. And then on the 20th, the vlog sale actually went out, went live. So my, my reason for the vlog sale was genuinely to release some money and because I wasn't using those items. But I now believe that like, you know, when you release some energy, there's energy there for new things coming in and then this one comes in and then I still didn't have the money from my gorgeous subbies buying the two bags hadn't hit my bank account and I'm there going it was literally like sliding doors anyway thank god it all worked out everything lined up the money arrived in and I went in yesterday and I picked her up and that's the long and short of it and the genuine honest truth of it. And I don't want this video to be too long. That's why I'm just rushing here at the end. And I know you want to know the price. So the price of this beauty was 7,400 euro. So I was a very, very lucky girl because I know how much she is on the pre-loved market because I've looked myself. So I feel very blessed and very lucky. And I don't know if it's because I live in Dublin. Look, Dublin's quite cosmopolitan as well. I don't know what it is. But all I am is thankful, I love it. I'm gonna keep it forever and ever and mind it forever. I'm actually gonna put in the purchase history now because I think I think you don't want to wait. So let's, so my purchase history was the Lombre de Mervais, which was, and I wrote it down because I wanted to have all the facts and figures for you. This was 130 euro. So if anybody thinks that this was what, this is all I bought. I had bought my Kelly dog bracelet, which I absolutely love. And this was 5.35. I love this and you can ask even Hello Catwalk City, Hannah. I had been on to her about it. I love it, I wear it all the time. I had bought my Bastia coin purse for myself and then I had bought one for one of my subscribers and for the giveaway and I had bought my white Oran sandals. Now you do know I have the gold as well but I didn't buy those from Hermes but I did buy these from Hermes. So that would be my uh, purchase history which totals 1,530. So I've no idea if that has anything got to do with it. 
To be very honest with you, I feel that, like, because when I had gone in about my wish list, they had said to me, you know, it's just, you wait, and it could be however long. So it was eight months from June to February. And actually when I was in there and she said about, she said, look, usually the wait list is about eight months, and then if you don't get one, you can start a new wish list. And I was like, okay, so when I got the call, I was just flabbergasted. I really, really was, and now I'm over the moon, and I can't wait to, Go and play with her for the evening and fill her up and see what fits. She's just gorgeous. She needs no words, she needs no introduction, nothing. Just, you can now see what everybody is talking about. You really can. The softness and smushiness of the leather is divine. We're gonna be forever friends and we're gonna mind each other. And that's it. And I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, I'm delighted you're here to share, share this with me. And it's a massive, massive, uh, achievement and that's the whole reason for me with this bag it is an achievement it's something to set your mind and go I wonder could I ever get that I wonder could I ever get that by myself or achieve that and I did and you might go well there's better things to achieve and there's better things to aim for but I aim for those too there's just lots and lots of different it makes life interesting also guys because I was so excited in the video I didn't address the situation <laughs> of you know, failing on my low buy, no buy year. So I wanted to put this in here. And I said I'd put Missy Moo in here for a bit of eye candy while I was talking over. And yeah, basically the opportunity came up and you don't get many opportunities in life like this one. And you got to take the opportunities when they come. Yes, I was on low buy year. I was doing quite well. Low buy, no buy, will I jump back on it? I probably will, I'll have to, because I won't be able to afford to buy anything else. <laughs> or maybe you start again next year, I will see. But this was an absolute exception to the rule. Am I sorry? No, I'm not. It was an opportunity that presented itself that I certainly didn't expect to happen this year. I, I don't know, I just thought, you know, when I did it, I did it as I explained in the video, pot luck, ch a chance in my arm, as I would recommend anybody to do. You never know. And it happened. And I took the opportunity, as I say, you never look a gift horse in the mouth, as my mother would say. So that's my reasoning and explanation. Am I sorry? No. Would I do it again? Yes. And I would advise any of you to do the same. Life gets in the way. Things come up. Things change. And here I am. So... I'm happy and I hope I haven't let you down guys by, you know, not continuing on the no buy. But as I said, it's the same for everybody. Life changes. So we're throwing swerve balls in all different areas, whether it be good, bad. In this case, it just happened to be amazing. And I'm thrilled. And I hope you are too. You might be going to Paris one day. You might be going getting it on the second hand market. Just keep going. You never know what's around the corner. Until next time, be kind, be safe, and be compassionate. Love you lots. I'm off to play. <laughs> Bye. Hi guys, today we are heading into a very special appointment. Katie's coming in from Arles Port to support me and we're gonna go for a nice lunch. She's gonna do some shopping. And it's gonna be fabulous and it's very unexpected and it's very exciting. So I'm wearing my leather jacket and my biker jacket and top from Katrina Hanley. And yeah, so we're off front with kids. Yeah, see you on the other side. Join the bear, so bring it on.